everybody, it's Mrs. Bench. I am so excited because today is the day I do my fidget tour. So I'm going to show you all of my personal fidget toys and just kind of go through them one by one. So to begin, these are my personal fidget toys and it changes all the time. So this is what I have right now. I give a lot of fidget toys away and I also do some fidget trading. So it's constantly changing. Plus I have two kids who also use the fidget toys and my younger one gives them away and does fidget trading as well. Starting with my poppets, I have three horsies. This cute little dog. I like the more realistic ones where they have the faces. So this is what I've been into recently. So I, this is kind of like my animal ones, the ones I would be at a zoo. I really love this penguin one. I have it in two colors. I lean more towards the realistic ones though. Do you like the rainbow or the normal colored ones? Let me know in the comments. Oh, I have a little elephant too. Then these are my Halloween ones. I have a sugar skull. I have one that says Halloween. This little ghost, which glows in the dark. This ghost also glows in the dark, super cute. And a pumpkin. This is my puzzle one, I really like that. I have more game boards than this, but I don't know where they are unless I've given them away. I used to have them in a ton of colors. I have two purses, my favorite is the duck one. How cute is that? A big butterfly because butterflies are my favorite. I have a couple keyboards. I'm gonna be honest, these ones aren't that great, but this one, it's incredible. The pops are amazing and I love the cute colors. So this one's awesome. There's another pop of shape I have. Let's see. I have a bunch of these flowers in different colors. These are the bracelets that I have. This one's even like a fidget spinner. Pop it, a bracelet, a fidget spinner. There's so many things going on. These are my like purses. So you could use them for pencil cases. You could put fidget toys inside of them. You could use them for really any kind of storage. But I love this bean pod one recently. This has been my favorite. I've been holding little fidget toys in it. Then these are my food poppets. Mmm, yummy. Okay, let's see. Cupcake, french fries, hamburger, ice cream, popsicle, lemon, avocado, carrot, watermelon, and strawberry. I made a funny TikTok the other day. I was like craving a chocolate covered strawberry. So I literally just put chocolate inside the strawberry and I was joking that it's a chocolate covered strawberry. Get it? <laughs> so that was fun. So those are my food fidgets. These are the octagon fidgets that I have. I love this crown. I love it. The colors are so beautiful. Like that light purple, teal, pink. Oh, I love it so much. Now I'm gonna start over here with my minis. These are all of my mini poppets. Unicorn, bear, some of them are keychains, some of them aren't. Like this cupcake's not, and neither is this adorable butterfly. But most of them are keychains. These were one of the first mini ones I ever got. And can you see how tiny the bubbles are? They're so tiny, especially compared to like normal bubbles. So that's pretty funny. Okay, this is one of my newest ones and I love it so much. It's a notebook. Oh, Mila Hardy colored in it. Okay, my daughter loves to use color, which is great. But yeah, it's a notebook that you could take to school or do your to-do list in or keep track of your fidget trading. I love it. And then I have this gigantic poppet square. Over here, I have a little random snail. I just love his eyes. They're like pointing in different directions almost. I have a little bunny. I used to have a ton of bunnies. I must have gotten rid of them in fidget trading. I don't know. I used to have a ton in like every color. Okay, let's see. I have all these numbers one through zero. And then I have like these math shapes, division, multiplication, subtraction, equal. So that's cool. I have a little phone case. This one's really soft, but it doesn't fit my phone. I have, these were like the old, these were like the original shapes. You know what I mean? Like before they started making all these fancy ones. 
So these turtles, I have two of. I have this cat. And then these were the heart shapes that I have and like a lot of different shades of purple. I love this tie dye, it's really pretty. And then these like OG squares. I have them in a few colors. Okay guys, I'm so sad. So this is a puzzle. There should be two other pieces and I don't know where the two other pieces are. Like I know I have so many more fidget toys than I have here, but I can't find them. So I think my kids have either lost them or I have no idea. Like where would the two puzzle pieces have gone? No idea. So that's a sad little one third of a puzzle. Um, some Peppa Pig. Okay, these are fun. I have a diamond, two unicorns. One is color changing. So if I take it outside, it shows color. A butterfly, I love the shooting star, among us, American flags, a star, two little feet. I have a fox over there, a little ducky. And then these are like my sports ones, uh, football, baseball or softball, and volleyball. And we're getting soccer in really soon too. Over there are like my medium size game, my pop-up boards. So I'd say they're like medium. They're definitely bigger than normal, but not like as large as they come. Then over there I have some old foam squishies. I didn't even lay them out. That was actually an accident, but those things are so ancient. This is my Jurassic Park of fidgets. I have dinosaurs, a few different types of dinosaurs, and then my giant dinosaur. Love it. So like, this is him compared to a normal size, super cute. So I really prefer these like more realistic ones. I've been loving these ones recently. These are still cute, but like, isn't that adorable? I love that realistic. This is my butterfly collection because I love butterflies so much and they're pretty big. I have that in two colors and I just think they're so pretty. Um, Over here, I did like my under the sea poppets. So this fish, a whale, alligators aren't under the sea, but kind of water, another whale, a dolphin, and another dolphin. And then I put my octopus poppets over here as well. Wait, where's my gigantic, see, I'm realizing I'm missing so many. I should have my gigantic octopus from Fur and Mouse Shop. Hmm, okay, now I realize I'm missing like a lot. Oh well, we have to continue with what we have. These are my do-it-yourself fidgets. So I have some stress balls I made. Like I made this one with flour. This one also with flour. This one was not do-it-yourself, but it kind of looks like it. This is my favorite. I combined three or four. Wait a sec, I think it was four. I combined four different stress balls that had broken. I cut them combined the insides and made it into one do-it-yourself. It's so good. It has like little tiny, the white are like the foam beads. It has Orbeez, it has slime. Oh, it feels amazing. And then recently made this one, oh, it's too hard. It has like a putty inside and like all this glitter, but it kind of stinks. And then like some do-it-yourself dimples, super fun. Okay, so then my normal dimples, I have a beautiful butterfly, love this one. It's hard to do things one-handed. A normal one, a little paw print, ice cream. Okay, so these are glow in the dark. There's a triple and a normal. And then these are super fun. I love, this is my favorite. I love this pattern. I love it. So I already showed you the ice cream. This is like a fidget spinner. I couldn't decide if I wanted to put it in the fidget spinner or in the dimple category. I put it in the dimple category though. These are dimples as well, super good. A caterpillar. See, I have a big one and I definitely have like a little keychain, but I don't know where it is. And then some of these cutie pies. I also love our candy. These are just so high quality. Look at this amazing gold keychain. It doesn't this just look really nice? So this was in our Halloween mystery package. It's just so good. Okay, and then I've been loving these pop-up blocks recently, especially because you can literally make yourself a dimple. 
you just click them together. So you kind of you, you can click or slide. I actually prefer to slide. So you take these pieces and slide them in. And then you can either or you can click them in, but I like to slide them. And you can either slide them out or just unclick them apart. I've been loving these. And we have so many colors. Okay, let's see. Oh, I almost forgot my universe temple. I love this little guy. And it's like not only cute, but it's also educational. It says the name. So like Uranus, Sun, Neptune, Pluto. I don't know if it has Pluto actually. Is this Pluto? Mars, super cute. So it's also like educational. I think that is all of my dimples. Now we're gonna move on to these little like, I don't even know, what are these? But look how dirty they are. <laughs> they're filthy. Well, they're not like actually dirty. Like I wash them, but they just like stay, they look grimy, but they're not, if that makes sense. Like I wash them, they just like continue to look dirty, but these are still fun. Okay. Next, let's go over to this area. These are my fidget spinners. So like this is like the OG, sp first of all, if you've been following me for any point of time, you know I don't really like fidget spinners. I don't really enjoy them for myself. They're like, I don't like the, how they look when they spin. That's like overstimulating for me. It's not good for my eyes. So that's just a personal preference, but this is like an OG spin. Then of course we have all of these dimple. I used to have a bunch, but like I said, I give them away in like freebies. I give freebies away in every one of my bags. And also I do a lot of fidget trading and stuff. So I just gave away, cause I was given like, I get a lot of these, but I don't particularly like them. So I just give them away. So I only have like one of each. But one of my favorite fidgets, just because it's so tiny, is this mini fidget spinner. I do love it. Sorry, it's like in the top of the screen. I do love it just because it's so stinking cute. Aww. Everything in mini is adorable. Which reminds me of my mini poppets. They're not really mini poppets, they are shoe charms. I love mini things. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I have a bunch of types of fidget spinners. I personally don't really play with them because they're not enjoyable for me, but I know some of you really do. So these are my collection. These are some cool ones. Super fun. Among Us, Pokemon, Naruto, cute little astronaut. I don't know which this one is. And then I got this in fidget trading. Someone traded me this and it's like a four leaf clover, but it has way more than four. So just like a clover. Uh, here's like a Disney one kind of. I don't know. Oh, here's some other ones. Someone traded me this one in fidget trading. And then this one's pretty cool. It's like a cube. And let's see if it will work. Do, 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 do. Anyway, so the, oh, almost forgot. These remind me a lot of fidget spinners. They're like those magnetic things that you can flip around your fingers. They remind me of fidget spinners a lot. So I also put that in this category. Okay. Moving on to like my super random. Like these are just like random. I don't have very many of them and they're just, they don't really fit into a category. So we have this beautiful thing. We'll just enjoy it for a moment. So peaceful, so calming. Two hours later. Okay, and then we have this Shishimo cube. These are really fun. Um, they're pretty expensive. I think you can connect them with others and they have really cool designs. These are fun, like a sensory. I actually got this in the kitchen aisle, but it's awesome. And then this one has different sensory inputs. So love that. This reminds me of like a rubber band material. It's just a ball. I have two fidget pens. They come in like these really nice boxes and look really fancy. So they just have a couple things that you can like fidget with. These are fun. This is that one that you like put on your arm and it can roll up and down your arm. It's hard to show with one arm, with one hand though, since I'm holding my camera. 
I have never been able to figure out these flippy things. They're like the metal things that you flip. They come in like a really nice case. I've never been able to figure it out though. So if someone wants to teach me, that'd be cool because these just sit unused. I've given away a bunch, but these are the ones I have left and I literally don't even know how to use them. Someone traded me this with fidget trading. It's just like a fun little sensory. Okay, these Mr. Yuck balls. They say yucky balls. I don't really like them. They have like these hard, thick balls in them and they're not enjoyable for me personally, but I have a whole set of those. These are like my, okay, right here is like, these are actually like chew toys, ironically enough. And my dog chewed this one up, but I keep it. So these are like chewy toys. Oh my gosh, I should have put this over there with my other chewable. The rest of my chewable jewelry is over here. Darn. Anyway, these are kind of, I definitely got them in like the baby aisle, you know, like the infant aisle, but they just remind me of fidget toys, so I keep them. And look how cute this chew toy is. It has like little nubs on it. Okay, but yeah, those are like the baby toy ones that are still satisfying. Okay, this is my snake category. I have them in so many sizes. I think this one actually goes. So it's like tiny and then like small, medium, large. And then this one is my largest one. It's humongous. Snakes are so fun because you can literally make so many different designs with them. So that's super cool. I do have some videos on my TikTok like showing you how to make some of them like a dog or heart. Here is a little, a snake made with a snake fidget toy. So that's cool. But yeah, some tutorials on my fidget toys plus TikTok. So you can see how to use them. And they're great for just like if you're on a long car trip or something because you can just use your imagination and this will, you know, take a lot of your time in a fun way. These are my balloony pets collection. I have every, there's six, okay? Well, I have doubles of the horse, the balloon, but these are all of the types. So a butterfly, a frog, a doggy, a swan, and a bear and a pony. So I like to collect things, so I made sure I collected all six. So there's the bear, there's the frog, Here's the balloon dog. They look like balloon animals, isn't that cute? This is a swan, but I'm gonna be honest, it always makes me think of a snake. So, and then a butterfly. They're really cute, they're fun to squeeze, they're fun to collect, and they just look like balloon animals, which I love. Okay, here's my snappers collection. So I have a french fry. I have a poop emoji one. I have just a little shape, but it's cool because it has like nubs on it that you can like bite or rub against your gums or teeth. So I do like that. And then a couple pineapples. And then of course, a lot of just normal ones in a variety of colors. And then I think these colors are really cute. Such a good sound. These are great for if you're like angry and have a lot of aggression because they just give that perfect outlet for aggression. I'm gonna start back here and show you my pop tubes. I can't do them one-handed, but these are my jumbo pop tubes, my biggest ones. These are my normal size pop tubes, my small pop tubes, and then these are my micro pop tubes, extra, extra small. Love them. I can't do them one-handed though, so. I think you might know how pop tubes sound. So I have a bunch of just like normal Orbeez. Like I have some that are solid color. And then a lot of them are like multicolor. This is my biggest one. Although when I was organizing it, you can see it's wet. I found out that it's leaking. So I'm going to have to cut this open, which is a little bit sad, but it is what it is. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go this way and show you my puzzle balls of a few different colors, even some clear ones, which is fun. You put your finger down at the bottom and then kind of push them up 
into different holes and your goal is to get them in this matching color. So this neon green has the neon green ball. So that means it's in the right spot and they're reusable over and over again, which is super fun. These are my scroll cups and they are just so much fun. I have them in so many colors. They're really mindless, but satisfying. This is like a natural colored one, but we have a few color combinations and I'm just loving them recently. Okay, right here I have my bicycle chain collection. So I have some really beautiful ones that are like sparkly. I haven't seen anyone else with these. I'm really excited about them and I love them so much. Then I have some, like this one's really cool as well. So I definitely have some like unique bicycle chains. They just go on your finger around. These are the normal ones. Just really nice. They're pretty much impossible to break and they're just satisfying. They're perfect for like school or office. I have this cool little guy. And then we have flippy chains. So these are flippy chains, they come in two sizes. You can see like this is the bigger one and this is the smaller one. You can see there's a small difference. And I make sure to get really high quality ones that are thick, like they have thick bands, thick metal, and they feel awesome. I also have two plastic ones, which is fun. They're bigger too. This is my little mochi collection. Oh my goodness. Okay, this little guy has seen better days. I'm gonna have to take him and put him in the broken fidgets collection. He might be cut up on my TikTok later. You might see him on TikTok later. Sorry, little guy, you lived a good life. Okay, but the rest of them, so I have a lot of these really cute chicks, which I love, and then just, mochis are so fun. They just have such a variety. They're so squishy. I mean, there's just something about like poking their belly. Bonk, bonk, bonk. So those are my mochis. I do love jumbo mochis. Jumbo ones just have such a fun appeal to me. Look how big this one is. He's huge. Okay, these are my food fidgets. They look like food. So I have these bananas in my shop. I'm like the only shop who has them and they are so satisfying. They're so fun because they look really realistic. So everyone has been loving these recently. Um, I also have a green one, which is like not ripe. It's okay even if the peel comes off. See, the peel came off of this one. It's not really supposed to, but it's okay if it does because you still have a normal fidget toy. So I just keep that one. Uh, I have some corn, which is funny. This one looks like it was grilled. I have some sausages, like I don't even know. A couple Orbeez one. These are always cute. Um, some peaches, some big peaches. I also have small peaches. And then some Nita ones, which are really cute. Look at that little orange. I have pop, a bottle of pop. I have a big orange. I have a, a lettuce, like what the heck? Oh, I have two lettuce, hang on. The other one's right here. I have a green and yellow, so random. I have a shrimp tail. These are like those stretchy sand ones. Okay, so I used to have a ton more stretchy sand ones, but um, if you watch my one video, stretching fidget toys until they pop, I popped so many of my fidget toys. I popped so many, but yeah. Jalapeno, super fun. Okay, now we're gonna move into my keychains. I'm gonna move my flarp out of the way. I do love flarp, super fun. It's the one that kind of sounds, here, I'll show you. To make my flarp work, I take it out and then I put it in like halfway. <laughs> and then I squeeze it in. So that's how I found it works the best. Take it out, put it back in halfway. And that makes a silly sound. Okay, always gotta have flarp. Back to my keychains. sorry I got distracted. Okay, so these are all my keychains. Uh, I have a lot of food ones, a lot of fruit ones. Like these little guys are grapes. They have like things pop out of them, which is fun. I have these three packs. They come in three packs. 
This would be the pack. It would be these three items. They're mini keychains. They're really cute and high quality. I love them. So it's a little peach. And then it has an orange with an orange slice. Like how cute is that? And then a lime with a lime slice. And then for my personal collection, I also have like bananas and grapes and things like that. I have these rock, paper, scissors games that are fun. I have some dinosaurs. I used to have more, but my pink one specifically broke and it was extra gross Ew. because they are pooping. Yeah, pretty gross. So it was pooping and then it popped. So there was brown liquid everywhere. Super nasty. Um, and then I have a couple cute bean pods. I love bean pods. I'm just gonna be honest. I do not like these at all. It's like a peanut with like a hard, they're not satisfying at all. It has like a hard um, pink thing inside and the peanut shell is also really hard. Thick. I don't like them, but they're totally different than like my bean pods. The bean pods have like a soft outside and then the little part inside. I don't know, those are satisfying for me, but I don't like those ones. I have a bunch of fish. These are fun and they pop out like a little, they have a little thing too. Cute. So those are my keychains. Okay, then I have my Rubik's cubes and also this cube I got from Walmart. It's like a fidget cube. I don't really know what to do with Rubik's Cubes because I don't really know how to solve them. Although I think I might be able to solve this one. I got this in fidget trading. Someone gave it to me in a trade and I'm like, ooh, this one looks a lot easier. Maybe I should try to solve my first Rubik's Cube. So we'll see. That's that. Okay, what's next? This is like my random assortment of stress balls that don't really have another category. So I love this big bear. It looks like a gummy bear, but in humongous size and it's so stinking cute. I actually have another one. This is my unopened pile over here and I have a blue one as well right there, but I haven't opened them yet. But they come in a bunch of colors and they are so cute. Then I have this weird thing. I have no idea, it's like a goblin or I really don't know, but it has glitter inside. So you can like see the glitter like fall. It's loose glitter inside. Mm, kind of sticky. So not my favorite, but this little guy's cute. It's like a fish with glitter, a glitter stress ball. These are my favorite right now. These are so satisfying. They're, I don't even know how to expl explain them or describe them, but they have like clear Orbeez inside. They have glitter, but it's not as easy. Like you see how it's like a thicker material? Like these are Orbeez. These, I don't even know how to describe them. I'm in love. I actually just put these in the shop at Fidget Toys Plus because I love them so much. I'm like, I have to get these out to people so they can fall in love with them too. So good. I love this bunny. It smells delicious. I don't know how to describe it. Usually I'm not smelling my fidget toys, but this bunny specifically, hmm. I am not encouraging you to smell your fidget toys, okay? So don't, don't go smelling all your fidget toys. But this one in particular, I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but he's so delicious smelling. Ah. So actually I probably could have put this spider in the Orbeez one. He has Orbeez inside of it. I used to have so many spiders. I had so many different types of spiders and they all popped. But my Orbeez spider has not popped. I actually had one that had like a red, it was really creepy looking. It had like red inside like a liquid that looked like blood and it had worms floating inside. It was disgusting. And I just accidentally popped that one as well. So this is my only spider left. He's a good one though. Okay, I have this creepy looking spider. Um, somebody traded it to me in fidget trading. I have never seen one before like this. Got creepy little tentacles. Very interesting, very unique. I have these balls, which I love. They're all shaggy and cute. Love them. Okay, I have this star. Hang on. Okay, I have this star. Has glitter. Look how stunning that is. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. It's so pretty. So I have a, I have a couple stars. I haven't opened up. Okay, back over here 
in my unopened, I do have some more stars. Like I have that gold, like that burgundy. It's like a burgundy color, so pretty. But I love these stars, really cute. Um, okay, this was a mesh ball and then the mesh was like ripped. So we cut the mesh off of it. This feels crazy. It feels like it has like glue or something in it. It doesn't feel like a normal stress ball. Very intriguing feeling. If it ever gets a hole, I'm totally cutting this open to see what is inside because I am so intrigued. It feels very interesting. I have this cute little llama. Very cute. Very satisfying. And I think that's all my interesting stress balls. Um, I already did my Orbeez balls. Okay, next up are my two jumbos. Love them. Did you guys see that one video I posted on my TikTok? So one of my jumbos, I had two green ones. And one of my jumbos got a little hole in it. Well, it wasn't a hole yet, but like the plug was starting to come out. Like this is how a plug looks when it's good. You know what I mean? But the plug was like starting to pop up. And I was like, this is gonna go soon. And I didn't wanna be playing with it. I cut it open and I'm just gonna tell you, I was 100% shocked what was inside. I do not sell these huge stress balls, but the one I cut open, I'm telling you, like my mind was blown. I think I'll put the clip, hang on. Okay, let's get on to our DNA balls. Wait a second, I feel like all of these should have been by the Orbeez. That was weird. Maybe these are like the textured Orbeez. I should have had these over here. My bad. Back to DNA balls. Okay, so these are like my standard DNA ball colors. Just recently, I added this beautiful new DNA color and I am in love. It matches my logo because like my, my, my colors are like teal, purple, bluish. And it has all of those colors in here, teal, purple, bluish. I love it. So now we have two DNA ball colors, like a classic. And then this, this one that matches like my aesthetic. Um, I also have a red and blue one. I also have like this one. Okay, so I have seen like a lot of different types. I, I don't have any other ones, but like, other stores, it's interesting, like when you buy other ones, they don't have as many balls in them. Like mine out, they're full with balls. I've seen some where it's like, there's only like a couple balls and then a lot of air. I don't know, I think that's interesting. But I just fill mine up with balls. I like them full, you know what I mean? So kind of fun. Here's one with some texture on it. These are my shimmer bears. So cute, I love them. So <laughs> they're really gorgeous. When you squeeze them, they have this like this beautiful glitter inside. Very sparkly, very pretty. Okay, let's head over here. My puffy stretchy balls, these are fun. Boink, 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 boink. They have cute little eyes on them. You can squeeze them and they even have a light up. And then my hedgehogs, these are so much fun. They're so satisfying. They're so soft and they have a cute little face. And the hair is like really soft. You can kind of play with them in a variety of ways or you could just kind of feel them. Love it. Some of them are painted. So like this has like blue painted on it. And some of them are plain. Some of them have pink or purple. Okay, these are like my cloth ones. These always break on me. I have a whole bunch that are in my, like I have to, whenever they pop or get a hole, I put them aside in my closet and then I cut them on my TikTok. And I have like three types like this who have broken. I don't know why they're so easy to break, but they are satisfying and they are soft. But these are all I have left. I love this thing. My sister actually bought this for my son like years ago and it has like kinetic sand inside and it's really soft and it's a little sloth. Super cute. 
This is a funny one. It looks like it has its hands on a bum and then you squeeze it and it looks like, you know, I'm not even gonna say what it looks like. And then it also makes farting noises. So, kind of funny to use every once, like not like a satisfying, but like a humorous type fidget toy, like, you know, silly. I guess along the same lines of a flarp. Okay, these are the type that have like air in them. So you squeeze them and they just have like air in them. I have this bunny with floppy ears. And then I also have a set of dinosaurs. They just have air in them. Air and an LED. Same with the bunny. Air and LED. I'm just gonna be honest, those aren't my favorite type, but I don't know, everyone has their own preferences. So I do have a few. So I have a well-rounded fidget collection. Okay, here's some more stretchy guys. I can't really stretch them because I only have one hand, but you can stretch them pretty far. Super fun. These goofy guys. <laughs> silly. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go right here to my mesh collection, my mesh balls. These huge ones are not my favorite because you really need two hands. Like I'm squeezing so hard, it's so much work. You need two hands for that. But I like, like, nope, that's too hard too. This one's too hard, too hard. Let me try this one. This one's perfect. I like when I can just squeeze it. It has a moderate amount of pressure, but like not too much. I, I, I love this one. The ombre pink and white is just beautiful. I like this one. See, this size is good. You can squeeze it, it's not too hard, it's just satisfying. Oh, this one has a thicker material, so that one's hard. These are my glitter stress balls. They just have like a watery consistency. This one has like that, conf what is it called? Like, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. And then this one has like glitter. This one's my favorite. It's so noisy, so noisy. They're not all that noisy, um, but they all have like glitter inside the water. So those are fun at times. Okay, this is my mini collection. So some of them are globbies like this, like the sticky ones you throw to the wall, but some of them have like neato type stuff inside, like a little foam. I think of it as like shaving cream and they have that consistency. So I have a variety of different mini balls right here in a variety of sizes. So cute. This is my cat collection. They are well loved. So I have two purple ones and then I have a bunch of kawaii kitties. They all, every color has a different face. Super cute. So their face or facial expressions are different. Of course, once you play with them for a while, their faces wear off, which is fine. It happens. So this little guy's in the middle because <laughs> you wash them and play with them. And it means they're well loved and that is fine. This little cutie pie. See how their faces are different. Very cute. Um, what is next? Oh, okay. I have these dinosaurs. They have like a sand inside of them. I have them in a few colors. And then this would be like all of the sand or snowball types. So this one you can hear is sand. And then that also has sand inside. So I was trying out snowballs to see like what was the best consistency for snowball ones for Christmas. And so I have like so many different types. Some of them are like blue specks. Some of them have like tan specks or gold. I don't know. So I was trying those out to find the perfect snowball. Let's see what else we got. These are my splat balls. Okay, so this is a little splat. This one's my favorite, let's see. Hang on. <laughs> it's better when you're like standing up, but still super fun. Splat balls, super fun. These have like the shaving cream consistency and they are fun. This one's glow in the dark. If you have a glow in the dark thing, make sure you charge it before you take it in the dark. Charging it means holding it in front of a light for a little bit of time. Then you charge it up and then you can take it in the dark and it should glow. So that's true with like anything. So over here I have glow in the dark magnets. So you'll need to charge those. And then over here I had those glow in the dark 
dimples and triple dimples. You gotta charge those up as well. And then they glow. So that's cool. Okay, these are Takumo Smushums. I have a couple. So there's a lot of different shapes. They remind me of like a dough ball material. So you know my dough balls? They're right here. They're like a thicker material and you can stretch them because they have like a cloud dough inside. That's how the Takumo Squishums are or Smushums are. So they're thicker. Like see how they take some effort to squeeze. I love it because dough balls are my favorite, but some people prefer like the easier to squish ones like this. So it's really up to your preference, but just be aware that the smushums are like a dough ball material. So if you like dough balls, you're gonna love the smushums. So these are my dough balls. I wish I could pull them for you, but I only have one hand because my other one is holding the camera. So they squish, they stretch, they're amazing. These are my favorite. They come in three colors orange, pink, and green. These are my color change balls. I love them. Blue to purple, yellow to orange. Let's see what else we got. Purple to green and green to yellow. So these two are more subtle because they're changing like orange to, you know, yellow and orange and green to yellow. But these ones are more like, whoa, you can definitely see the color change, you know, super fun. Okay, people always ask what's my least favorite fidget toy, and I never really know, except for now. I do not like this alligator. He's super sticky, but he stains everything. Everything he touches, he stains. He has stained so many of my fidget toys. When he's, when he's up against a fidget toy, he leaves like a really red mark on them. So he has to go on quarantine. He is always in his own little plastic bag, so he can't stain anything. Those are some foam balls. I'm not a big fan of foam balls, but they're the OGs, so I have a few just because. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. This is my little collection of things that I haven't opened yet. They're good um, stress toys or fidget toys, but I just haven't opened them yet. I might give them away or whatever. This is my Christmas collection because Christmas is coming up soon. So I have a couple advent calendars. And then I have some poppets and like Christmas shapes. I have some dimples in Christmas shapes, some mochis. Look at these jumbo ones. I love jumbo. I love jumbo and I love mini. I love like the, the big and the little. And then some foam squishies. So that's my Christmas collection. Over here, this is called a Holberman Spear. They're, I love them for breathing exercises. I always had them in my classroom. There's a lot of cool things you can do with them, but like if you're feeling stressed or angry, you can like use them to monitor your breath. So like breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And so when you're pulling it out, you breathe in, breathe out. And it can kind of help you like regulate your breathing, which can help you calm down. So those are cool. And then here's a huge slinky that I got when I went to the uh, St. Louis Zoo with Sierra Zagari, which was so much fun. And then I have a normal size slinky. <laughs> okay, those little loopers are cute. Um, they sent them to me, they're so fun. They have a little stand, I opened one of them. You like loop them around and then you try to get them in the hoop, almost like basketball. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. I did it! Woo! Those are cute, the packaging's real cute. Next up I have, okay, wait, <laughs> these random. Oh, wait, 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 never mind. I'm gonna show you my fiddle phone. Okay, these are like handmade. How cool is this? It's a fiddle phone, a wood phone surrogate. So if you are used to like scrolling, but you don't wanna be on your phone, cause sometimes you need a break from the screen, you know what I mean? The screen's not good to look at with your with your eyes or if it's right before bed. This is like a fun alternative. It's just plain wood, it's really smooth and you can scroll, so that's fun. I found him on Instagram. I'll link his Instagram in the description. These are just my super random, like I don't even know. Like what? I don't even know, but I have them. So I put them in here. And they cracked me up. Oh, now he's stuck on my fingers. Hang on. Okay, this one is so weird. Ah, ah, side view. Ah, creepy. And then this fun thing. I don't know, they feel good. 
Oh, I love these from Hand to Mind. They are so cute. This way you can like push the button or turn it. I like stuff like that. Okay, all my chewable stuff. So I have jewelry, which is jewelry that you can chew on. And they have like these little nubs, which you can rub against your gums or your teeth. And there's like a whole bunch of options. So I have all of these, look at the mermaid tail. And these would, not, would reach really far back into your mouth. And then these are cool. They go on the top of your pencil. So you can put them on your pen or your pencil. So if you're someone who's always chewing up your pens, put one of these on the top. And then you can chew on this and not damage your pen or your teeth. So that's good. And then I have this one that like reaches really far back into your mouth. So that's my jewelry. These are my magnets. I have a ton of like the rainbow ones and then some more rainbow ones. These are the glow and the dark ones. They're so cool. And then these are our newest color combination. No, that's not true. We just got some gold and white ones that are really stunning, but I don't have them yet. Um, these are white, purple, and blue. My Fidget Toys Plus colors. So I think they're really pretty. Kendamas, these are so cool. <clears throat> I did a whole lesson with the um, Sweets Kendamas Instagram page and they were so patient. They like explained how to do it. These are really high quality and amazing. So definitely check those out. So zipper bracelets, these are so fun for like party favors. These are great for when you're in public because no one will even know you have a fidget on. So those are fun. And they come in so many color combinations, like it's crazy. Every color combination you could want, there's a, there's a zipper bracelet for you. These are my tangles. I want, I do want like artist. I've, I've been wanting like the artist collection one and I never got any. And I really want like a giant tangle. This is the biggest one I have. I wanna like diversify my collection because I just have like, I have uh, metallics. I have metallics that have texture. I have like the soft ones. These were all in my shop. And I just have like plain ones, like the Crush series or whatever. But like I want a gigantic one and I want like an artist collection, but I don't have any of that. So that's my Tangle collection. Okay, these are my um, fidget cubes. So there's tiny ones, teeny tiny ones. I kind of match the tiny ones with like the normal size just so you can see the difference. So that's kind of fun. Um, those are cool, some patterned ones. And you know they have all the sides, so. There's like a lot of different things you can do. So many. Spin and click. And this is just like a calm thing you can just rub on it. It's just really smooth. I've been playing around with the idea of getting these in my shop, so I get samples every once in a while, but I haven't added them yet. So, similar, same things different shape, kind of. Sometimes I think they're easier to hold, but it's the same thing, it's like a calm strip so you can just rub. There's things to click and twirl. So it's the same thing, just in a different shape. And I think I like this shape better. So I've been playing around with putting those in. So very similar to the fidget cube is the fidget pad. A lot of the same things, just in a different shape, kind of more like that. Um, this does have this, which the pads don't, which the cubes don't, excuse me. So, yeah. And we have so many different options because we have them in like primary colors. We have white backgrounds as well, not just black, but then we also have them in different designs. So like camo, this is my favorite. It's like a blue floral. I just think that's so elegant and classy. Then we also have some like animal prints. And then we have these awesome things. Um, I have a couple color combinations, but they're dodecahedrons and they just have so much going on. So I enjoy that. And then we have our infinity cubes. So I have a couple of the different designs, color combinations. These are my favorite, like these really high quality thick metal ones. These are good. These little plastic ones, they don't work as well, but they are like a cute color combination. 
but they're not as easy to, they're just like, you can tell like they're way, mm, they weigh a lot less and they're just not as easy to manipulate. But like these ones manipulate so well. Check out this metal one that I have. Someone traded this to me. This is a nice one. Very cool. And then along the lines of the infinity cube, I have this fun thing. And it's also like an infinity cube and you can attach or detach them and make them bigger or smaller. So that's really fun. Okay, these are like, I call them just like pokey balls, but they kind of, so these are my massage balls, like my finger massage balls. You can stretch, like put, I don't recommend, I can't put like all five of my fingers in, but like you can like stretch two fingers at a time or whatever you think is most satisfying. And then you can kind of like rub them on you to like give yourself a massage almost. So that's how I kind of use these, like, to, to kind of poke and massage, but you can use them however you want. And I have a bunch of different shapes. So these are all of those. And then these random balls, I didn't really know where to put them. So they just went over here, but yeah, pretty cute. But let's start back with mesh and marble. I kind of put like a comparison guide for you here. Look, this one is like short and stubby. Like it's kind of like thick. And then this one is like, medium but really thin and then this one's like big and medium i don't know it's kind of an interesting comparison um so mesh and marble good you can use them with one hand you can kind of boink them like this or you can move the mesh and the marble up and down so you can like move the marble you can use them with two hands or one hand they're perfectly quiet and they're very durable so that's one of the, like, these are a good fidget. If you genuinely need to fidget in like class, oh my gosh, look what I just found. I found one where I'd put a whole bunch of marbles in. I remember when I did this, this was funny. Okay. And then I have these little boinks. They have faces. So cute. Looks like she's dancing. So I have two of those little boinks just for fun. Um, noodles, I have all these noodles right here. So I have normal size noodles, medium noodles, and then teeny tiny noodles. Like these things are so teeny tiny. Look at how tiny. And then these ones, here, let's do a comparison of these ones. So teeny tiny, medium, and then normal. Cute, super fun. And then I didn't really know where to put these. They have like a whole, it's like a tentacle. And this one's a unicorn. I don't really know but they remind me of noodles, so I put them over here. And then these are like the ramen noodle type things. I have a few combinations and colors of ramen noodles. These are like my wooden. So I have like this, which is fun. Then I have a plastic version that's a little bit smaller. Then I have a Jacob's Ladder. It doesn't work that well though. When I was a kid, I used to make like homemade Jacob's Ladders and they were so fun. This is working right now. When I first got it as a sample, it wasn't working and I'm like, darn it. See, that's what this. And I was like, darn, I wanna, I wanna put these in my shop so kids can enjoy them because they're like nostalgic for me. Nostalgic means like, I remember using them when I was a little girl. It's working great right now. Maybe I'll have to revisit this. These are called Jacob's Ladder and you can make them do it yourself too. I'll show you one day. Um, Let's see, oh, my wacky tracks. Okay, these are my wacky tracks. I have some that are like really long. I like connecting them and making them extra long. I think this one's my longest one. But they come in this size. This is the size that they come. So if you wanna make them really long like I do, you just have to buy a couple and combine them. These are amazing because they're so durable. They're like impossible to break. This is like my original wacky track from long, long time ago. I think this is from 2012. Um, let's see here. So the, I have a lot of color combinations that other people don't have. So I have like pink and white, blue and white like a navy or like a dark gray and white. Um, it's like a, a light yellow and pink, green and pink. Everybody has this. 
green and orange, and everybody has blue and green. But yeah, I like my pink and white and my blue and white and my gray and white. Those are my favorite color combinations. Okay, let me take a quick look around. My fidget toy collection is literally changing every single day because I'm constantly giving them away or trading them or sometimes getting new ones, like when I do my opening mystery package videos. But this is what I currently have. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my personal fidget toys. If you like content like this, please make sure to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. Bye.